Hello everyone, my name is Tim Cooney. I'm a senior scientist with the Department of Planning, Industry and Environment. And today I'd like to run through the Citizen Science Hub, which is a module of the SEED portal. And it's been built to uh, connect people, projects and data and enhance citizen science experience across New South Wales. Even though this is a virtual meeting, I would like to pay my respects and acknowledge the traditional custodians on the land on which I'm presenting to you from today, the Wadi Wadi people of the Darul Nation. Citizen science is meaningful science, producing robust data and it's for everyone. And at the Department of Planning, Industry and Environment, we support open and accessible data, rigorous science and quality information, community engagement and contribution to data and knowledge. The hub is useful to our team as it acts as a citizen science customer establishment relationship management system with back-end reporting available to improve insight into where the New South Wales government could add the most value to build the citizen science space. Sten Christensen is a senior team leader of SEED and we can be contacted through a dedicated mailbox seed.citizensci at environment.nsw.gov.au. The New South Wales Government's Sharing and Enabling Environmental Data Portal, or C program, sits within the Science, Economics and Insights Division, which combines expertise from across the Environment, Energy and Science Group, creating a key evidence base for data, information and analytics to help you take action for a healthy, sustainable and resilient New South Wales. SEED was developed as a result of recommendations emanating from the New South Wales Chief Scientist and Engineers 2014 Independent Review of Coal Seam Gas Activities in New South Wales. In particular, Recommendation 10, which outlines the establishment of a whole of, gov whole of environment data repository for all state environmental data, as well as recommendations from the 2014 New South Wales Biodiversity Legislation Review which recommended the establishment of a whole of government biodiversity portal. SEED was originally built to satisfy these two recommendations and developed as a collaboration across multiple government agencies involving extensive consultation with community and user groups. There has been significant progress in establishing SEED, which has become a state and national award winning environmental data portal. SEED is for everyone, including community groups, industry, government and researchers. Essentially, anyone who wants to improve their understanding of their local environment or use the data to improve decision making. SEED currently provides open online access to data from various government agencies. And to meet these needs, SEED has expanded to include a citizen science data. One of the more popular and visually engaging data sets on SEED is the Streamwatch data set, which includes historic data from the Australian Museum and more recent data from the current custodians, the Greater Sydney Land Care Network. Because of the efforts of the data stewards, the data was in such good shape, we were able to load it to the SEED map really easily and honour the intention of the contributing citizen scientists by improving accessibility to the data. Technology is enabling projects to be more accessible to the public, providing greater communication between science practitioners, citizen science and decision makers. Providing accessible data collection and management tools like SEED, coupled with a hub, will improve the flow and quality of data. However, technology has also created resource knowledge silos, data fragmentation and barriers to transparency fueling duplication of effort and ongoing mistrust in the quality of citizen science data. This limits the potential for contributions made to the citizen science to translate into scientific and environmental impact. SEED is perfectly positioned as an open data portal to support the hub in enriching the pool of valuable environmental data that is available to the New South Wales community. The Citizen Science Hub has been co-designed by Citizen Science for Citizen Scientists to ultimately improve the aggregation, availability and transparency of citizen science data. So it is more often used as part of the rigorous evidence base for scientific and government decision making. 
What makes the hub different? Hub development has taken a user-centric design approach with over 55 hours of iterative testing conducted throughout the development life cycle from initial scoping to final build. The users have been at the centre of the design process to deliver a tool that meets the user's needs. There is a seamless data connection to share data in one place, namely SEED, with mapping capabilities. For SEED, Citizen Science Hub provides a clear channel to increase citizen science data availability and accessibility. Not only this, but through utilising the independent and standardised data quality rating used on SEED, it builds confidence in its use. There are standards in place. Citizen Science Hub uses PPSR Core, Public Participation in Scientific Research, which standardises the terms used in identifying projects, making it easier to integrate with other systems and aligning it to international standards. The live impact statistics highlights when the data is being used, increasing feedback to participants so they know that their time commitment to a project is making a difference. This also encourages data users to consider using the data themselves. The hub provides ability to search for and connect with users, building capacity to conduct engaging and impactful citizen science projects, encouraging data, resource and knowledge sharing between users and providing easy access to best practice resources. This connection also builds relationships between the government and the community and within the community. A notification system provides a clear avenue for project organisers to provide instant feedback to volunteers. It pushes and pulls projects to the Atlas of Living Australia to retain opportunities in one place, further reducing duplication of effort. The Citizen Science Hub extends beyond biodiversity data projects, and this broadens the scope of data collected by citizen science. There is no other tool of this kind in Australia as far as we know to date. Three rounds of testing with iterative designs, 30 hours of interviews with 15 participants representing project participants, project facilitators and data users and scientists. These reflections sum up the major ambitions of the hub. A modern place where citizen scientists will want to come to participate, collaborate and contribute data. Demonstrate the impact their efforts are having increase the trust users of the data have in citizen science projects through quality ratings. Key findings from the 2018 user study were uh, participants want to know they've made a difference, will participate in projects with credible facilitators running suitable well-designed projects, facilitators are looking for project ideas and way to maintain engagement, they want to leverage best practice examples and increase project exposure and want their data to be visible and usable. And scientists and data users want to know the story behind the data and trust that it is of a known quality before accessing it. The Citizen Science Hub has been co-designed and user tested by citizen science participants, people running citizen science projects and people who want to access the relevant data. Designed for citizen scientists by citizen scientists. Key components identified from the user groups were explore, connect, and contribute. The hub has a number of tabs to explore existing projects, connect with project organizers, and find out more information. Once you've logged in, you can choose what notifications you receive and whether you want to be contactable via email on the hub. You have the option to opt out of notifications and emails as well. Once a participant has signed up to your project, they will be contactable by their email address. The Hub has many features for participants, project organisers and data users. Today I'll go through the main features of the Hub provides, which is beneficial to project organisers. Firstly, we have the Project Finder, which is located by using the search bar. You can use a variety of filters to narrow your search, such as location, skills, participation activity, whether the project is outdoors, indoors or online, difficulty in terms of knowledge base or fitness, science types and status. Each Citizen Science Hub project has a number of tabs from the homepage 
To find out more information on updates, data, contributors, and impact. Once you join a project, you can see these tabs for participants to explore, background information, including instructions on how to participate in the project. The update section allows you to see updates and events that the project organizer has added. Once you've joined the project, you'll be notified if there's a new update or event added to the project, and the events will be visible in the upcoming events section of your profile. Interoperability between the seed portal and New South Wales Biomet allows you to view data records through the seed map. People who have joined projects can be contacted directly through the app. The impact tab is a way for the project organisers to show how participants' contributions can impact scientific research and environmental decision making. As a project organiser, you can also add in direct links to journal articles and other items to show how the data is being used. There are many resources and guides available through the hub, such as fact sheets, project guide, data access, and a dedicated mailbox. The project guide provides detailed information to help project organisers from project planning through to engaging citizen scientists and the community and collecting and managing data. You can search for someone in the hub at any time by doing a general search by hovering over the connect dropdown on the top right hand corner of your screen and click search people. Once you've arrived at the search people page, you can search by name or use the provided filters to find people with similar interests. The filters in people search work the same as the project search. Once you've registered a project, you can also search for and invite people that have suitable interests or skills to your project, as long as they want to receive project invites. To do this, head to the Manage Project area, click on the project you want to add volunteers on, and then click Invite Volunteers. Use this screen in the same way as the general search and invite people by clicking on the checkbox at the bottom of their dial and click Send Invite. There are many wonderful projects on the hub such as Streamwatch, Fungi Map, Glossies in the Mist, and Belgian Riverwatch. Since the launch of the Seed Citizen Science Hub in July 2020, there have been 46 projects and 104 registered users. The hub has been promoted through Saving Our Species Program, Universities, Australian Museum, Atlas of Living Australia, CSIRO, Greater Sydney Councils, Bionet, and receives approximately two and a half thousand visits per month. Some other interesting projects include Wild Count and Saving Our Species projects on koalas and mountain pygmy possums, as well as the Australian Seabird Rescues Turtle Watch project, presented yesterday by Holly West. Finally, I'd just like to say thank you to all for listening to this presentation on the Seed Citizen Science Hub and encourage you all to visit Citizen Science. .seed.nsw.gov.au. Thank you.